the series for React uh, State Management. Today, I will try to walk you through how you could use uh, Mob X to do uh, state management. If you follow my previous uh, video, I have demonstrated how you could use React and Redux. But in this uh, video, uh, I would like to walk you through how you could use uh, Mob X to do the same uh, trick. So our aim over here is uh, we have a box and the box is rendered on uh, initially rendered on a particular position and as we uh, drag the uh, box uh, the box uh, the react will actually uh, automatically render the new position as is it drag so let's see what's the component uh, which is uh, being used in the uh, react uh, mob x model so in the react mob x or mob x in in particular you uh, what you would do is you make your store an uh, observable so what it means is uh, is actually uh, trying to track all the change uh, which is going on to your box state or any state in in that uh, scenario and once the uh, there is a state change uh, you pass it to the uh, observable over here which is uh, of my container over here and uh, and then my and then it will be uh, mapped automatically to the uh, props uh, or the on the uh, component and with the prop pass into container then you can also pass the uh, container to the uh, box component which is again the dumb component as I uh, described in the previous video and with the dumb component you have the uh, user handler which is also uh, being uh, rendered on the DOM and once a user perform a drag then it will uh, invoke the its own uh, event handler and in the event handler I have actually uh, uh, used the uh, Mob X uh, transaction to uh, perform the trick of uh, updating the store. Um, the reason for the transaction is that you would like uh, all the uh, uh, instead of uh, waiting for a single change, uh, you like to batch your changes. So you could use a, a transaction to wrap the uh, all your uh, action. Uh, they call it the action into. Uh, the transaction and then subsequently update the store in a batch in I would think uh, this way would be much more efficient however the way I am uh, demonstrating uh, using the mob X is not the only solution do check out uh, other people's uh, video uh, how uh, mob X could uh, help you in the uh, overall state uh, management um, the purpose of this video here is to uh, demonstrate how you could, could quickly morph from uh, using uh, Redux to Mob X. So uh, for me, why would you uh, even try to do that anyway? So um, as you can see over here, Mob X compared to uh, the Redux model has a less um, component over here and subsequently it uh, really reduce uh, your uh, code base so uh, it really simplifies your code base but i don't know what's the performance as i don't have a you know a, a, a use case uh, to uh, to demonstrate that i suppose the other thing that i like to uh, do is uh, i always like to do is to know how uh, mob x is compared to uh, redux So to get started, uh, we go to our project folder and do a npm install mob x, mob x re react. And then we'll wait for npm to load up our module. And then here we have uh, the, our previous lesson from uh, the Redux. So we'll go to the uh, store method and remove all the uh, Redux module and then we import uh, observable from uh, MobX. So 
So we need the initial state. So we'll move that, and then we'll head on to uh, initial state and copy it from there. Put it back to store.js. So we declare a store and make it uh, observable on the uh, our box. And then that's it for our initial state. So remove that uh, additional file over there. We don't need the reducer for mob x. We don't need the constant uh, for the mob x as well. And we don't need our action type for our mob x. So there we go. This is the most simplistic uh, model. And then on the uh, our index.js, we'll again remove the Redux uh, model, uh, Redux module, sorry. And then uh, we will import um, mobx uh, from the uh, mob, mobx module. And we don't need the obviously we don't need the provider anymore. We we'll just pass in the store directly into our container. So some clean clean up over there. And then let's head to the uh, container dot js to do our change. So again, let's uh, import the uh, observer this time from uh, mob x uh, react. And then we'll remove the uh, connect and uh, all the redux uh, um, module. And then do a bit of cleanup. We don't need the connect decorator this time, but we'll use the observer decorator. Then we change the uh, we'll preserve the uh, box, but we throw away the store prop, and then we move on to the uh, the block component over here, and then uh, we do the. Uh, import uh, for the uh, transaction and then we need to uh, import the observer of uh, mobx uh, redux uh, sorry mob at uh, mobx react So here we move, do a minor change on our header drag uh, event handler and then we put in a transaction wrapper So put in our action in, inside the wrapper We don't need the move box anymore and then uh, just a bit of uh, clean up on the uh, action do some realignment on the bracket and then here if you run our display again as you can see here oops it's not working uh, let's check Is it that? Yep. But uh, I forgot the uh, observable decorator. Observer decorator, I'm sorry. And then, uh, as you can see right now, so this is working as our previous uh, Redux uh, demo. 
थैंक यू